All right, so I posted a video a couple weeks ago and it was about how to instantly make your hi-hat sound better by using that little knob underneath the uh, hi-hat. If you don't know what knob I'm talking about, I'll show you real quick. Uh, this one right here. So that knob that you see right there, uh, that ad adjusts the tilt of the hi-hat, right? And so then you guys started chiming in, which I always love, and uh, I loved it because I learned something new that I'd really never thought about it, right? Turning the knob depending on you know, where you're sitting. So I believe it was Derek Frampton. Thanks, brother. Uh, and someone else mentioned it too later. Uh, but uh, you mentioned that you like to turn the knob towards you to prevent the hi-hat from uh, chipping sticks. So in other words, it tilts the hi-hat a little away from you instead of towards you. The under, the over, the top hi-hat goes over it instead of the bottom hi-hat coming up. And so I'll just real quick and I'll play just so I can, I can show you in just a second. So right here, we've got the hi-hat and uh, Pardon this. And right now you'll see that the uh, hi-hat is the bottom hi-hat sticking out, right? Well, when you turn it towards you, then that top hat is out on top like this, and there's no more bottom hi-hat. And I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, I'll kind of play and let you see how that works. All right, so this is with the uh, hi-hat turned away from me, or the, uh, the knob turned away from me. You can see because that bottom hi-hat is right there, it's chipping my stick, right? Well, if we take that and we just make a slight adjustment and bring that knob towards me, then the top hi-hat is on top. Now, obviously, that's not going to fix all of your the, the chips that go into your stick. Technique has a big part to do with that, how tightly you grip that stick if you're letting any of that vibration out of the stick. But this is actually a killer tip. So thank you, guys. I learned something new every day. You should always be learning. So I was like, i got to post about that. Kudos to Derek and I think it was Pat. So Derek Frampton and Pat, someone I can't remember your last name, but thank you guys for putting that in the comments so I can, I can share it with everybody. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that now. We're a community. I listen to you guys. I want to make the content that you want. Put down in the comments uh, if you any videos that you would like to see. As well, hit that notifications bell um, so that you'll be notified when there's new stuff. Uh, but whatever you do, I'll see you here in the next video. Keep giving me great tips. I love them.